Welcome to the unit on special weaves and fabrics. This unit focuses on the common fancy fabrics and throughout we will examine the characteristics of each fabric along with its applications. This unit comprises of 8 sections and a final review section that invites you to reflect on what you have learnt. By the end of this unit, students will be able to Describe weaves and fabrics, describe dobby fabrics, double cloth, extra yarn fabrics and jacquard fabrics. Understand various special weaves such as leno weave, pile weaves and pique weaves. Certain fabrics are produced with special features such as patent woven designs, surface textures and open work. Usually these specialized woven fabrics are made using an additional mechanism attached in the conventional weaving loom. They are also produced in varying widths including narrow fabrics which are used for various purposes such as trims for a garment. The weaving techniques of these fancy fabrics are complex and hence they are available at a higher cost than usual woven fabrics. Some common fancy weaves include dobby weaves, double cloth, extra yarn fabrics, jacquard weaves, leno weaves, pile weaves, warp pile fabrics, weft pile fabrics, PK fabrics and tapestry. In this unit, we will review these common fancy weaves. These are fabrics produced with small woven designs or motifs. Designs are usually geometric patterns. They have not more than 25 warp yarns in a repeat to create the patterns in the fabric. Dobby weaves are manufactured in looms having a special mechanism called dobby looms. A dobby mechanism can control as many as 32 heels. More complex and expensive weaves can be created on this machine besides simple weaves such as plain, twill and satin. Dobby fabrics are popular shirting and furnishing fabrics. Some of the Dobby fabrics that have specific features are Hakabak V and Baffle Cloth. Hakabak is a Dobby fabric having a rough pebble surface. The fabric is usually made of cotton spun yarns. It is widely used as tall fabric owing to its absorbency created by weft floats. Waffle cloth is a dobby fabric having three dimensional honeycomb effects. It is widely used in home furnishing especially as dish cloths, napkins and upholstery. The fabric is comprised of two layers. Each layer is made of two set of yarns and hence the double cloth is made of two warp yarns and two weft yarns. They are stitched together by a third set of warp yarns. The fabric is costly and flexible than a single fabric. In certain cases, the double cloth is split into two layers and used as fabrics with surface fibers. They are generally produced as fabrics with two different surfaces, hence they are used as reversible garments. They are widely used as suiting fabrics, blankets and uniforms. Extra yarn fabrics are produced with an additional set of yarns introduced along with the base either in the warp or in the weft direction. These extra yarns in the fabric create patterned designs on the fabric. They are generally of different colors or textures to add aesthetic appeal to the fabric. 
Veranas floats on the back side of the fabric which are sheared and found as fringes. X-rayon fabrics are widely used in apparel especially as women's wear and as home furnishing fabrics. These are fabrics produced with intricate complicated designs. They have more than 25 patterns of warp yarns in a repeat. They are manufactured with jacquard mechanism in a regular loom. They are widely used as decorative fabrics in both apparel and upholstery. Damask is a jacquard fabric with satin floats on a satin background. It has designs that are found in reverse direction as a background float. It has flat and smoothing designs. The fabric is smooth and lustrous owing to satin weave. It is usually of monotone or of limited colors. Unlike brocade, which is multicolored, the mask fabric is given a special finish to retain the flat look. The mask is made in varying thickness with different compositions and are used both in home furnishing and apparel. They are typically used as table cloths. Brocade is a luxurious jacquard woven fabric with rich heritage. It usually has classic designs with additional threads Hence, may it also be classified as extra yarn weave. Jacquard designs are intricate and complicated. They are made using a special attachment in the loom. It is made of silk and has additional threads with various colors along with gold and silver threads. The extra yarns make satin or twill floats on any weave background. Brocade is widely used for luxury apparel and home furnishings such as shawls, curtains and cushion covers. Some brocade fabrics are also embellished with sequins or semi-precious stones. Brocadal is a luxurious jacquard fabric similar to brocade but has raised patterns. They are characterized by thicker weft yarns which make it a heavy fabric with prominent patterns is a very popular furnishing fabric. Lino fabrics are characterized with open spaces giving a net like effect. The warp and weft yarns do not interlace with each other rather pair of warp yarns twist around weft yarns. This creates an open constructed fabric which is firm and strong without much yarn slippage. Lino fabric is woven using a special mechanism either using a plane or a dobby loom are ideal fabrics for summer wear. Lino fabrics are used as mosquito nets, curtains and packaging materials. Marcusets, a sheer lino woven fabric widely used in mosquito netting. Pile fabrics are produced with loops or cut fiber ends on the fabric surfaces. They are used in both functional and decorative purposes. Pile fabrics may be used as cut or uncut piles. They are thick and bulky which creates a three dimensional effect. Pile weaves are made by introducing additional set of yarns either in the warp or in the weft direction. Hence they are called as warp pile fabrics and weft pile fabrics respectively. Typical examples of pile weaves are terry cloth, velvet, corduroy, velveteen etc. Terry is an example of uncut pile fabric. It is made of a special weaving arrangement called slack tension method with two sets of warp and one set of weft. The extra warp forms loops on the fabric. The fabric has distinct loops on one side or both sides of the fabric. The usual varieties of terry cloth are two pick or three pick terries. Terry fabrics are made more durable 
with polyester cotton blend, brown fabric and cotton pile loops. The loop yarns are made with low twist cotton yarns, thus contributing to fabric absorbency. They are widely used as towels and bathrobes. Velvet is warp face cut pile fabric is usually made of filament yarns, of silk or any manufactured fiber. It has a luster and soft pile surface texture. Velvet is identified by unraveling a warp. The pile sticks onto it and gives it the appearance of a caterpillar. Velvet is widely used in luxurious applications owing to its sheen and soft look. It is popularly used in dresses, jackets, suits and interior furnishings. The fabric is made of two sets of weft yarns and one set of warp yarns. The extra weft threads in the fabric make surface loops which are cut and brushed to give the pile texture. They are usually made as cotton fabric but are also available as polyester cotton blend with polyester giving strength to the fabric. Cordroys have distinct lengthwise stripes called veils made of short fibers. The base fabric may be made of plain or twill weaves. Cordroy fabrics made of twill weave have denser piles. They are widely used for making slacks and jackets. Cordroys are available in solid colors or as printed fabrics. Cordroys are classified based on the veils per inch in the fabric and meant for various end uses accordingly. Various types of cordroys include feather veil with veils per inch of 18 to 19, flexible and have shallow pile hence used for making tops, gloves and bottoms, pin veil 14 to 16 veils per inch, flexible and shallow pile, hence used for making tops, gloves and bottoms. Mid veil has about 11 veils per inches, used for making outerwear like jackets, bottoms and upholstery. Wide veil has 3 to 9 veils per inches, it is heavy and less flexible and used for making trousers, coats and upholstery. Velveteen is an example of cut weft pile fabric in which floats are distributed all over the base fabric. Thus, they do not form a distinct pattern like cordroys. It is compact and stiffer than velvet. The pile is shallow than velvet and almost has a flat surface. Velveteen is used to make jackets and dresses. PK fabrics are produced with raised effect either in the warp or weft direction. They are usually characterized by cords running along the length of the fabric formed by floats or stuff yarns. They may be produced in either a dobby or jacquard loom. They have better wrinkle resistance They are generally made of spun cotton yarn. There are various kinds of PK weaves. Bird's eye PK has a small cord design along the fabric width using stuffer yarns. Bullseye PK has a big cord design. They have cords running across the width of the fabric. Midfoot cord is a type of PK fabric which has bold cords running along the fabric length. It is heavy and durable and used in upholstery, trousers and uniforms. Tapestry fabrics have rich heritage and are woven in traditional vertical looms. It is a heavy fabric with distinct ribs generally made with thick cotton spun yarns. It is bare faced plain woven fabric. They are handmade or machine made. They are usually made of multicolored patterns using weft yarns of various colors. The weft yarns are discontinuous in the fabric as they do not run along the entire fabric width, rather they change color as the pattern changes. Weft yarns are much thicker than warp yarns, hence 
The Vapians are completely covered in the fabric and hardly visible. The Veftian of a particular color interlace front and back as in plain weave until the pattern requires a change of color. Sometimes they also interlace and are inclined at an angle with the Vapians. Figured tapestries are popular as wall hangings, doormats, rugs and handbags. You have reached the end of this unit. To summarize in this unit, you have been introduced to specialized woven fabrics. These interesting effects on the fabric make them suitable for effective use in specific categories of apparel and home furnishings. Thank you.